I always had very good pitch when I was a kid. Um, I could um, I could sing a song, and I would I would sing it ex exactly the way it the way it sounded. And like whenever someone sang it incorrectly, I would let them know. <laughs> I would say it's wrong, and like they would like my dad, for instance. I corrected him, and he said, "What am I doing wrong?" And I said, "It's just wrong." Back then, I didn't know what he was doing wrong. I just knew that it wasn't the right. It wasn't the right way, and you know, as it would turn out, it wasn't in the right pitch. But I didn't know how to tell him that. Um, but anyway, it's it's weird because I don't come from a very musical family. I can only think of maybe one or two other people in my family that even play an instrument actively. So it took me a little longer than it does most young musicians to realize that I had something, because I didn't have anybody to compare myself to. I didn't have a musical family, and I didn't know very many artistically inclined people. Um, so, you know, and, and, and my dad would tell me, by the time I finally got a keyboard and was picking out songs off the radio, he would say, you know, that's rare. Not everybody can do that. And I was like, okay, whatever, you know. Because, you know, <laughs> you don't listen to your parents when you're young. But, um, it turns out he was right. Because, um, you know, I took piano lessons by middle school, and that same year that I started taking piano lessons, I joined the middle school band. But I joined playing drums. And when I told my dad I wanted to play drums, he's like, John, you've never played the drums before in your life. You don't have a kit. How are you going to do this? And I said, well, I, I just told him I felt I could do it. And, you know, this is when I was, you know, listening to the oldie station on the radio, and I was listening to, like, the Motown drum sound, I would always, I'd play air drums in the car. <laughs> and, you know, I just got it in my head that, you know, I can do this, I can do this, it'll be a piece of cake. And, you know, didn't always come easy when I first started playing in the band, you know, I, they put you, they put the music books in front of you and they expect you to read the percussion music and I never read drum music and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, it was a challenge at first and then my band director started putting, like, you know, the real jazz books in front of us with all the, like, um, with actual songs for a full ensemble, you know, kit, guitar, bass, and all the woodwind and brass instruments, you know, as a whole. And that was when my ear took over. And, you know, I could, I could just kind of feel it out and I didn't necessarily have to read the music. I mean, I learned to count and I learned to measure the bars, you know, like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four. You know, I could do that and I could, <laughs> I could fake it a little bit. That, also that year, that was a big year. This was, this was seventh grade, by the way, that I joined the middle school band and was playing drums. Towards the end of the year, you know, I was, you know, having my drum lessons with the band director and, um, he, um, I don't know how the conversation went exactly, but he played something and I said, well, I think that's supposed to be this note. And he said, well, and I named the note. I said, this was supposed to be a G instead of a C or something like that. And he said, well, how do you know that? And I said, well, I don't know. And he, <laughs> he said, he says, turn your, turn your head that way. And I was like, okay. And he plays a note on the piano. And he says, what's that? And I said, that's a C. He plays another one and it's a, it's a B, an A, F sharp and flat. And he's like, you have perfect pitch, and I'm like, w w what's what's that? It's like, you can name you can name the pitch of any sound you hear. You know, not everybody can do that. And I was like, oh, because I thought everyone could do that. I thought that everybody could name the, the the pitch of something they heard. I didn't think it was anything special. And then, all of a sudden, you know, one in ten thousand or whatever people can do this, and I'm like. Well, okay then. <laughs>